where's a place that I could find out if Lyme disease is in my state? Well, that's a bit problematic because the CDC maps that they use to tell if someone has Lyme, this is national reporting. And many of the doctors are scared. They don't report Lyme disease regularly. So the reporting figures are really underestimated by a figure of tenfold and, and probably a lot more. So Lyme has spread across the United States. It's certainly endemic in the Northeast, in California, and the Pacific Midwest. But it's in the Midwest. It's in Texas. Texas just found that 25% of their ticks contain Lyme disease, Borrelia burgdorferi. Um, it's in Canada. It's a worldwide epidemic. So when people say, wherever I live, is there a chance I have Lyme? The answer is yes. The birds are carrying the ticks. They're depositing in different parts of the world. And it really is everywhere. Now, there are hot spots, of course. But you can get Lyme disease anywhere in the world. In China, you can get it in Europe. It's worldwide. And even what you're saying, too, is that even if it's not Lyme disease or this variety of Borrelia, it may be something, that there's some kissing cousin of it no matter where you are. That's correct. And, and this new one, Borrelia miyamotoi, um, the ticks, the mother ticks are passing this bacteria on to their offspring without a blood meal from a mouse or a deer. So we're in for a big trouble with this particular Borrelia, it's kissing cousin, mm -hmm. as you say, because they don't have reliable blood tests and it mimics Lyme. So if you go to your doctor and you have Lyme-like symptoms and the tests are negative, they should know that it could be due to another species of Borrelia and that the tests are just not reliable. Mm.